Hey, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be making some pork breakfast sausage. I've got a pork butt here. We're going to be mixing it up. It's a great sausage. You're going to love it if you ever try it. Your whole family will. It's really easy to make. It's simple. And it'll save you about 50% on what the cost in the store is. And you're going to like it a lot better. So let's get after it. Okay, what I have here is just a Boston butt. It's about six pounds, and I'm just gonna slice this up. I'm gonna grind my own. You don't have to. You can go in to your butcher, your local butcher, and buy some ground pork. Preferably, you want Boston butt, because it's got about an 80-20 fat to lean ratio, and that's what kind of what you're looking for. But I'm just gonna slice this up into slices that in pieces that I can get through my grinder. Now these, this pork butt is about half frozen. That's kind of, you, if you're gonna grind your own, you wanna make sure that it stays nice and cold for the grinder. And I'm just gonna finish cutting this up, and when I get through, I'll be right back, and we'll show you what the next step is. Okay, I got our pork butt cut up, I got all the meat cut off the bone, got the bone thrown away. Now, this butt was a little bigger than I thought. This butt is right at eight pounds. I got eight pounds of meat here. So I'm gonna get this in the freezer right quick because I wanna make sure it stays right on the point of being frozen. And then when I come back, we're gonna start mixing up our seasoning to go in this. I'll be right back. Okay, we've got our meat in the freezer, getting really cold for us. Now we're gonna mix up our seasoning to go in it. I'm gonna start off with, I've got two tablespoons of salt, sea salt. I got four tables, four teaspoons of parsley. I've got two teaspoons of ground sage, two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of thyme, two teaspoons of crushed red pepper flakes, and I've got two teaspoons of coriander, ground coriander. And this is optional. I use it, you don't have to. I've got four teaspoons of MSG. And we're putting it all in here. This is enough for eight pounds. I will be adding the actual list probably over on this side later in the video for you. But we're gonna just snap this lid on here. And we're gonna mix it all up. This is enough seasoning for eight pounds of sausage. Okay, we've got it mixed up. I'll show you here. Make sure it's all mixed up. Yeah, it's all mixed up. Got it all mixed up. Let me get my grinder all set up and ready to go. I'll get the meat out and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my grinder set up. I'm gonna, I've got the coarse plate in here to cut it with. I'm gonna grind this twice. So, let me get this started and I'll be right back with you. All right, I've got it all ground up. Now I'm gonna clean this out. And what you can do, there's still always a little bit left inside your grinder. You can just pick up a little bit of this and put it back through there to move, to move anything out that's not ground yet and then you can just clean this out. See, this is the coarse plate I'm using. All right, now we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna spread our meat out a little bit. Now I'm gonna take our seasoning we mixed up. And I'm gonna spread about half of it in here. About like that. Now we're just gonna mix this up really good. Just mix this seed and just keep folding it over. 
and mixing your seasoning in. It's, it's not hard to do. Just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of elbow grease. If you've got a mixer, that's great. Also, if you don't have a grinder, like I say, you can just go to your butcher and get some ground pork, some ground Boston butt. And you can buy it by the pound and you can do it just like this. Now we've got that mixed up pretty good. Now we're gonna add in the rest of the seasoning. Just like that. And we're gonna mix this in. Just keep turning it over. It's already getting a little bit sticky, that's okay. That's kind of what you're looking for with this stuff. And just keep folding it over. It takes a little bit chasing your container around. And just keep mixing. Till you get it all incorporated into the meat evenly. Like I say, you're probably gonna need to mix this probably by hand, probably about five minutes. So once I get through mixing, I'll be right back. We'll show you where we go from there. Okay, I've got it all mixed up. Now we're gonna run it through the grinder again. Let me get this run through the grinder and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we got everything run through the second time. I've moved the grinder and everything. Now what I'm gonna do, this is what I normally do right here. I'm gonna take some and I'm gonna make up a couple of patties. Well, see how sticky that is. That's about what you're looking for right there. I'm gonna make up a couple of patties here and fry them up. That way if I need to adjust anything, right now's the time to do it, I can still mix it in. Get me a patty done here. And we'll put it in the skillet. I'm gonna make, go ahead and make up a second one. I've done this, I've made this enough times, I know it's gonna turn out fine, but my taste may not be the same as yours, so you may wanna Add a little something or, you know, fix it up. Also, if you like hot, spicy sausage, you can add you uh, a couple of teaspoons of cayenne pepper to this. I probably personally wouldn't go over that. I think I would work my way up to that uh, till you got to the heat that you like. I don't normally do it because my wife doesn't care much for hot sausage. So, you know, I don't put it in there. But now, if if I'm making it just for me, then yeah, I'll put it put it in there, but. All right, let me get these fried up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, our sausage is done. It looks really good. The smell whenever it was cooking was just, my mouth was watering. So I'm gonna taste this right quick. Like I say, I've done this many, many times. I know it's gonna be pretty much there but let me taste it just to make sure. That is spot on. That's money right there. Like I say, this is so cheap. You can do this for about half of what you pay for sausage in the store and you'll love this sausage. And you can customize it however you want, which is the great thing about it. You can't customize the stuff in the store and you're gonna save money too. So, like I say, I'll put the description of what all went in, all the ingredients that went in here and the amounts. And like I say, this was for eight pounds of sausage. You can divide it up if you only wanna do a pound or if you wanna do three pounds, you can just figure it up from there. So, I wanna thank everybody for coming. If you want good sausage, make you some of these. You'll be thanking me. So, I wanna thank Everybody that watches my videos, all my subscribers, I really appreciate it. I want to send a thanks out to all the men and women working in law enforcement and all of our first responders. And I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women serving on active military duty right now and to all of our veterans. Thank you so much for all the sacrifices that you make. Oh, by the way, if you want to see another video about making bacon and stuff like that, I'll have a good one up here. Making stuff at home will save you some money. And in the description, I'll put a link to a, play, to a playlist that you, of mine that is for making stuff like sausages and, you know, uh, bacon and other stuff 
that'll save you money at home. These times are not good right now. So till next time, thank you very much, and I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas.